Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. In today's reading we are going to be doing a live shuffle for our Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 17th through January 23rd. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. Okay. What is going on with my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 17th through January 23rd? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? Quick disclaimer before I get right into you guys' this reading. I want to let you guys know, for a lot of you guys, this energy is going to happen in chronological order. And for some of you guys, this energy is going to happen sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you. All right. What's going on with my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 17th through January 23rd? We got a jumper. We got a jumper. We have the Ten of Wands. What else is going on with my Cancers? Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of January 17th through January 23rd. Ooh, okay, so we've got the Hairpin Energy. We've got the Nine of Wands. Okay, so what are you guys guarding? What are you guys defending this week? Do you already see those things coming to par? Okay, Five of Pentacles. So I see a lot of you guys are defending your finances. That's what I'm seeing. You guys are guarding your finances. You have the Ace of Cups energy surrounding you as well. Ooh. Okay, you guys have the Empress and you have the Strength card. Okay, all right, you guys. So we've got our seven cards for the week. Back of deck energy is the Moon in reverse. The Moon in reverse is someone who has been, you know, holding in emotions. Um, they've let their emotions build up and they may be exploding during this week someone may be expressing how they feel um it's different for everyone you know with this energy you know what i'm saying the moon in reverse can also be someone who is you know thinking about old things thinking about old patterns and visualizing that but i do see you guys you know pulling through sometime and I see you guys striving through this time but also guarding yourselves during this week all right so you guys have three major arcana cards this week the Hierophant, the Empress and strength card all right so let's go ahead and get into this ten of wands energy this ten of wands energy is someone who is fighting their burdens as you can see this person is pushing Okay, this is someone who is setting those boundaries, someone who is showing their true strength. The strength card is here. Okay, these burdens are not getting the best of you. You're charging towards the things that you're wanting in life at full speed. That's what I see with this can with this card, Cancer. All right, this Ten of Wands is someone who is focusing on their responsibilities. All right. There's so many things on your plate, all right? And with this Ten of Wands, each wand is a responsibility, okay? A lot of you guys are having a lot of things built on your shoulders that you have to take care of during this week, a lot of things that you need to check off your list this week. A lot of you guys may have bills to pay, okay, um, going through this week. Some bills may be due this week. Um, they may be withdrawing through your account. Um, you may be working hard on yourself, um, personal life, relationship life, communication life, you know, family and friends life, 
stuff like that and all of these things may be playing a factor into your week this week so pay attention to those things um but keep charging through um i see you guys doing a lot of research with the hierophant card i see you guys seeking you know more education a lot of you guys may be tapping into um religious factors this week tapping into the things that um, help you spiritually during this week so this is a big factor this is a major factor for the week and I feel like the things that you are learning um, is going to help build you help build your character and it's also going to help build you into this energy of this nine of wands energy um, you're going to be thinking about some things making the decisions on guarding yourself defending yourself protecting yourself from anything that is going on in your life and i feel like you guys are trying to protect your finances with the five of pentacles being in reverse this is someone who is going through um a financial recovery okay this is also somebody who could be going through a physical recovery you know or emotional recovery this is recovering from anything is what i see with this card so you guys cancers whatever you guys are going through or whatever you guys went through last week last year or years prior to that just know that this week you're going to be lifting up from that you're going to be recovering from any past traumas where whether it has to do with your finances whether it has to do with your mental health whether it has to do with your physical health a lot of you guys are going to be just now starting this process of recovering from these things so pay attention to that i feel like that is a major um thing that is going to shift your week into the right direction to positivity because with this ace of cups energy cancer this is all about love and joy and spirituality okay so with this love and joy this is someone who is being loved by others recognizing what good is happening to them showing gratitude for the things that are going on in their lives and enjoying their time you know recognizing that you know what they do love me they do care about me recognizing that let me move this mic because it's like in my hair um i apologize you guys but with this eight of cups energy you're realizing that you know what these people do love me they do care about me certain people um and you're going to be able to navigate through that a lot of you guys when you tap into your spirituality is really going to help you guys focus on loving yourself and loving those who are around you more well i don't want to say more better because that's not the proper way to say it but better you know all right you guys do have the empress energy a lot of you guys may be grooming yourself or treating yourself to something nice during this week this is also about motherhood also the ace of cups is about pregnancy okay a lot of you guys may be finding out that you are pregnant this week or you may be finding out someone around you is pregnant this week so pay attention to those energies there's a lot of fertility going on with this ace of cups energy and the empress being right behind it so if you guys are not trying to get pregnant um i know that i told you guys in 2021 some of my cancers are going to get pregnant in 2021 uh, some of you guys are going to be expecting a child um during the year 2021 so this week can very well be the week for some of you guys that you do make a baby or you find out that you are pregnant okay because the empress card is the motherhood card and it's also about women children and beauty because it is ruled by venus um this is libra and taurus energy as well so with this strength card energy this is leo energy this is someone who is showing compassion all right a lot of you guys may be if you are a male you may be showing compassion to the one that the woman that you impregnated um a lot of you guys who are not the male and you are the female um you may be getting compassion from the male this leo type manly type energy surrounding you you may be receiving compassion and love from them also you may be pushing forward a lot of you guys may be gaining power um during this week all right 
so that is what I'm seeing you guys overall for this week and for some of you guys with the moon being in reverse um, if you are finding out that you are pregnant you may be feeling like a little overwhelmed but I promise you guys you will get past it Wow so I'm shuffling the numerology cards to see what you guys should focus on this during this week and the first card to come out is change all right change the game up switch up the plan cancers figure out what it is that you're wanting to do let's make these choices you're already intelligent with the hairpin energy tapping into that energy doing research focusing on your spirituality with the hairpin card and with the ace of cups so tap into that energy very heavily so that you can exceed and succeed <laughs> All right. So the second card to come out is nature. I feel like you guys, if you can, if it warms up, I know here where I'm located, it should be warming up just a little bit during this week um, between January 17th through January 23rd. And um, with this nature type energy, you guys, if you can go outside, take a walk, get a breath of fresh air, sit on your porch if you have a porch, balcony, patio whatever you guys have or enjoying that time in the car communicating with spirit talking to God um, or whoever is your you know whoever you call your higher power um, speaking with them talking to them meditating you know tapping into that natural type energy during this week and you guys also have number two patience I feel like this came out this is the second time that I can remember. This came out with Scorpios and it came out with you guys for patience during this week. So be patient with yourself when it's coming to, you know, um, going at, you know, at these boundaries, at these burdens, going at your responsibilities, you know, pay attention to that and be patient with yourself don't be too hard on yourself and when you're guarding yourself you know be patient with the people who may be trying to manipulate you during this week out of the things that you are guarding out of the out of your finances pay attention to that energy okay also a lot of you guys may have a false alarm when it comes to this pregnancy thing someone you know for the men you know some of you guys um, may encounter a female who is lying so you know just pay attention to those energies they may be trying to take um, just take from you all right Ooh, bones popping and everything getting old all right so cancers <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into this um, moonology cards moonology cards are going to let us know what energies are surrounding you guys during the week of January 17th through January whoop, 23rd. So we got two cards. Wow, we've got take time to breathe out came out first. So that could be a change for you guys. And it also could be you guys going out in nature, taking a walk, um, spending time with yourself, meditating. You guys also have a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries so you very well may have Aries energy surrounding you motivating you and then you have believe in the impossible all right a lot of you guys need to get into that energy of meditating believing that the impossible can happen as far as you being successful I feel like some of you guys um, don't want to change some things up because you may be scared of your own success but it's time to not be scared of it anymore and it's time to put yourself out there believe in the possible and focus on manifesting those things into your lives so let's go ahead and shuffle the astrology cards and see what other energies are surrounding my cancer sun and rising signs for the week of january 17th through january 23rd okay First card we have is the 11th house, which is Aquarius energy, where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. All right, we have the sun, which is Leo energy. Again, it came up with the strength card. Your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. <clears throat> And then we have Jupiter energy, which is Sagittarius energy, your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. 
So luck is definitely surrounding you. And I feel like you guys are really going to be tapping into your spirituality during this week. All right, you guys. So I'm going to shuffle the Starseed Oracle cards to see what messages you guys have from Spirit. So the first card to come out is Lost Lens. Soul Memories and Gifts. You've done this before. <clears throat> And then we have activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you are led. I believe they got that for the cancers. We have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. You have your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. We talked about you guys manifesting things into your life. Um, star family you are part of a team of souls called in support all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this reading please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and i will see you guys in my next reading